All right, another subscriber roster review, guys. Hey, it's AP Gains. You guys have been leaving amazing comments on all of the previous videos, all the latest videos. Uh, I've shot up in subscribers monumentally. I'm, I think I'm over 200 subscribers at this point. So thank you guys so much. Um, interacting with you guys, uh, talking with you guys about strategy and roster stuff has been uh, super fun. So thank you for indul <laughs> indulging uh, indulging a poor, a poor young man's uh, dream of having friends for once. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, not really. I live a very sad life. Anyway, hopping in. Uh, epoch. Epoch. All right. Right away, I see. Love it. Everyone knows Darth Vader is my favorite <laughs> character of all time. Uh, for those of you who haven't been around long enough, uh, I watched Star Wars as a very young kid. I had Star Wars Monopoly. Always played Darth Vader because I was afraid that if I... <laughs> I didn't play for the bad guys that uh, they'd kill me in my sleep. So ever since then, huge Darth Vader fan. Um, defensive purposes, I love the Grievous, obviously, the Revan, the Padme, the Brood. Uh, seems for 3.3 seems a little low, but since the nature of the recovery, I guess this is a wise hold off. So I, I like that. Uh, probably for ship purposes, uh, I like the Anakin. This confuses me a little bit unless R2-D2 is part of the uh, gas requirements. Uh, I need to brush up on gas requirements. It's been a while um, since I've looked at that event. But curious, not super opposed to it since of the versatility. Um, love it. Maybe also for gas or simply just to have a dominant Grievous team. I imagine that's probably what you were looking for. Uh, 3PO doesn't need to be relicked, so I like that. I like that hold off. Good Zetas. Uh, powerful in a Ray team. I see you have the Ray and that you're working on going for the relic, so this combo, love it. Emphy's Nest for the banner efficiency. Really love that. Uh, Treya, if you're going just the trio, Treya doesn't need to go super high, especially only at 3-3 three, three if we're talking... Uh, trio compatibility against Geos or Shock T. I like that. Or even Padme. Love this for ship utilization. Um, Malak is hard to gear up, but curious that curious that he's not higher. I would imagine that you would have wanted a powerful Sith team. Um, this confuses me maybe you're going for early galactic legends but this confuses me i love the two zeta on um joe lee uh it's, he can go higher if you use it for grievous but if this is a uh, setup for a galactic legends counter then that's fine i love just the large amount of gear 12s uh, spreading out so you don't have any bad teams here's the final piece I'm pointing at my screen like you can see me like I didn't unplug my webcam. But I like that. Um, I'm just going to, out of curiosity, I'm just going to go down to Sith. Uh, I might have missed your Scion somewhere. Okay. Um, depending on how you utilize your Treya, this Scion needs to come up. Uh, for efficient banners against geos for example um the 3.3 million gp is a strange range because it's kind of hit or miss whether you actually encounter geos sorry if my voice starts to get a little hoarse i've been talking for like the last 12 hours straight um zeta allocation i like except for i feel like a wasted zeta there but clearly you've been playing for a long time so I mean, you're probably not <laughs> at any deficit for Zeta, so. Uh, I don't see any holes other than that Scion and the Malik, And I wouldn't necessarily call them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Curious. So you're not going for gas. So if you're not going for gas, that means that the uh, R2-D2... Zeta is a little interesting. Or not Zeta, but Relic is a little interesting. I'd say overall alloc resource allocation <clears throat> on efficient and multi-use characters is high. 
I think that drastically outweighs any potential holes this roster has. So, I mean, this is an A roster. Um, this is a 4.0 roster. Other than the uh, two holes of Scion and Malik, I'd say this is a very solid 4.0.